What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Today we're taking a look at Rodri from the Manchester City uh, player pack that we have here. He's an anchor man. He's 86 overall. He's a DMF. Short and sweet, lads. This guy is an absolute unit. He's a monster in the middle of the pitch. The only thing he's missing, really, to make him pretty much on par with the epics and the legends is the fact that he does not have blocker as an anchor man, which a lot of the, you know, the top class meta DMFs have, right? But depending on how you train him up, you can turn him into an overpowered meta machine as well uh, because all you're going to be doing with him is basically blocking balls, you know, getting interceptions, blocking the passing lanes, stopping, the, you know, I was going to say stopping the enemy from attacking, <laughs> stopping your opponent from launching attacks through the middle of the pitch, right? Because if you are trying to become a really top class player, you need to be able to play the way the game rewards and you need to be able to shut down opposition attacks that go through the middle because you're not going to concede a lot of goals out wide you're not going to concede a lot of goals where you're cutting in out wide unless you're passing it into the middle so everything is going to go through the middle and this guy is one of the best anchor men in the game now if you do spin him i definitely recommend training him one way so this is why we have this ultimate guide here i have two options as we usually do i mean everything that you see here is kind of um compounded by the fact that he also does have excellent passing ability so his defensive stats are excellent and his passing stats are fairly decent but he also have has excellent player skills and he has passing skills one touch pass way to pass low lofted and true passing and then everything else defensively apart from blockers so how are we going to train him up well over on eFootballDB.com, as we usually do we've got 18 levels to go with Rodri he's got 34 progression points and we've already covered the player skills we've already covered that he has got unwavering form as standard we've already covered different versions of this card but I think that this is a very decent card especially when you train him up so the first version of the card that we're going to train up is pretty much just going to be a defensive juggernaut right we're going to get the defensive stats into the 90s aggression is going to be the key one here his speed and his acceleration, no matter what you do, you're never going to get that high anyway. So there's no point in even trying to, you know, if you're looking for a defensive-minded defensive midfielder, that's just going to sit in the pocket, sit in the hole, and protect your uh, centre-backs. If you think about how Rodri plays for uh, Manchester City, when the fact that they're kind of pushing forward, he's always just sitting back and lets the the, the full-backs or the wing-backs wing backs such as... Um, walker kind of move up the pitch depending on their formation and depending on their fluid formation and the fluidity of their attacks and defense it is usually through the middle that they're very solid you know what i mean that they keep solid uh and rodri is one of the key parts to that machine that they have working for them so same with your uh, dream team squad if you are looking to play with rodri he's not going to have the engine of say somebody like makalele or Patrick Vieira and he's definitely not going to have the acceleration or the pace and you know the, the speed of somebody like Davids or somebody like that that can get around the pitch very uh, quickly and be very mobile and break up the play like Kante or somebody like that so what you need to do is you need to pick exactly how you're going to play him so I would play Rodri as deep as far as can go back on the defensive line and you're just going to sit him there and this is how I would train him if you're looking for that type of role if you want him to be your kind of third man sweeper center back when you do have the ball in possession, kind of pushing forward with him, but he stays back anchoring that position, I definitely think he is a monster. But if you're looking for kind of an, a well-rounded guy, this is a very good version of him as well. This is one of the most balanced versions of Rodri and one of the most balanced DMFs in the game, really. You've got five points into passing and then four into dribbling dexterity, lower body, aerial strength, and eight into defending. Now, depending on how you play, if you play a lot of manual defending, right, you don't really need this aerial strength. You can just take, you know, two or three away from that and pop one more on to get that defensive awareness up to 85. That will reduce his overall to a 94, but I do think you have better individual stats. You know, you do need, look, you're never going to have the pace with Rodri, so there's no point in pumping more than four or five points into that. The reason why we've gone four or five into dexterity is because we want to balance up over uh, the 60 mark. So if, you know, if that's too high for you, you can obviously take that down once it's at 60. I would keep the balance at 60. You could even go with that if you don't want speed, you know, and you can pump that more into defensive capabilities there. And you can have a very aggressive uh, player with you know, 90 defensive engagement, which is a huge stat to have. 
you still have 61 acceleration which is better than the other version of the card we just had and you have acceleration or speed and stamina that has got a boost as well so you one touch pass you don't need to focus too much on the passing so if you don't pass a lot if you're just a one touch passer you can reduce that even more and pump it into dribbling to get an 89 type position or else you could leave it at 88 and you can pump that up in to get an 85 physical contact so there's different ways of training him but that would be a more complete version of him and that would be a defensive first monster there so let me know what you guys think i'll be back soon with another training guide thanks for checking out don't forget to subscribe peace